Welcome to DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to introduce cloud mapping using M3T. Cloud mapping can generate RGB or infrared maps using DJI Pilot 2 app and Flight Hub 2 platform. For now, this feature requires DJI latest enterprise models, including Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, Mavic 30 Series, and Zenmuse H20 series. Mission Area Before the cloud mapping, you should link your aircraft to an existing Flight Hub 2 project. You can decide a cloud mapping area using the annotation tools in Flight Hub 2 or Map View in DJI Pilot 2 app. To use the cloud mapping, tap Flight Route, create a route, and select Mapping. Tap the target area to create a mapping mission. You can tap the plus icon between two waypoints to add more boundary points, or tap the delete button to delete the current point in blue. Tap clear button to delete all points. Additionally, you can tap the area annotation and easily generate the mission area directly from it. Mission parameters. Camera Selection Choose DJI Mavic 3T and you can select which kind of photo you want to capture on the aircraft. You can choose Wide for RGB photos, IR for infrared photos, and Wide plus IR for both kinds of photos. If you choose Wide plus IR, remember to select Visible or Infrared below. For each cloud mapping mission, you can only choose one of them. After the camera is selected, the flight route will appear on the map. For infrared cloud mapping, you should change the palette before the mission. Cloud Reconstruction Remember to turn on the cloud reconstruction. GSD By default, the GSD will be calculated from the flight route altitude. For example, if the altitude of M3T is 100 meters, the GSD will be 3.52 centimeters per pixel. When cloud reconstruction is turned on, the cloud reconstruction GSD will be displayed. For other parameters, you can watch another video to learn more. Perform the mission. Choose a wide open area. Select the cloud mapping mission and press the perform button. Complete the pre-flight check and mapping checklist and upload a flight mission. Then the aircraft will take off and perform the mission automatically. When you use IR cloud mapping at night, the obstacle avoidance function and terrain follow will be disabled. Before the mission, you can have a manual flight at the same altitude to check the obstacles. During the mission, pay attention to the cloud mapping progress Make sure the controller signal and internet connection is well. View the results in Flight Hub 2. Enter the same Flight Hub 2 project using your computer. You can check the mission progress under the map section. Flight Hub 2 will reconstruct a model based on the photos. It may take some time, depending on the number of photos and internet speed. If the reconstruction fails, Check the internet connection or divide the mission area into smaller ones. After the reconstruction is finished, you can view the 2D model or tap the load elevation data to view the 3D model. The resolution of infrared photos is lower and the infrared cloud mapping result cannot be used for temperature measurements, is not suitable for detailed modeling but can be used in fire or flood situations. If you want a more detailed model, you can use the original photos and DJI Terra to reconstruct a 2D or 3D model. Thanks for watching.